Well, I'm excited to be here at the beautiful, iconic Hotel Del Coronado. What a beautiful location, what a beautiful venue for an upcoming event that we're doing. Uh, you get somewhat of a, of a perspective on this property, the iconic tower. Uh, this uh, movie, the uh, movie in 1958 was filmed uh, Some Like It Hot with Tony Curtis and Jack Lemmon. And of course, the iconic Marilyn Monroe was in that movie as well too. So what a great location and a great venue to do an event. Welcome everyone to the Development Effectiveness Strategies channel where we bring effective development and fundraising principles to you so that you can increase income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. We're here at the beautiful, iconic Hotel Del Coronado in gorgeous, beautiful Coronado Island in Southern California. I'm here for a weekend event and I thought it might be appropriate to take you along with me so we can talk about the four key success principles to a major donor event. There are four key principles to any successful major donor event. Those four key principles are as follows. Number one, an effective venue. Choosing an effective venue for a, any major donor event is extremely important. If you are dealing with individuals with high net worth, they can go to just about any place in the United States to have a vacation, to enjoy a weekend. So if they're going to go to your event, you want to have a venue that people look forward to going to. An event like the Hotel Del Coronado here as an example. This is an iconic property that has been around since 1888. It has been the site of a number of movies over the years. One in particular, 1958, the movie Some Like It Hot was filmed with Tony Curtis, Jack Lemmon, and of course, Marilyn Monroe. And it was a comedy and was, you got a great look and a great glimpse at this iconic property. And this property has continued to keep up and keep pace with modern technology with modern uh, privileges and being able to just provide a great environment for people. I've used venues all over the United States and in foreign countries and finding the right venue is so important. You want to find a venue that it gives people a sense of comfort, a sense of of strong hospitality. You want to make sure that the facility has a staff that is doing a great job of making sure that their one job is to make your guests feel comfortable. And so as we go to a venue like this, uh, our this particular event is a three-day event. It will start with uh, dinner on Friday and go to 11 a.m. in the morning on Sunday. There are a number of events that I've done that have also included Thursday as well too. Uh, your events could be midweek, but I tend to favor events that go over the weekend because it allows them to be able to work during the week and, and go on. We also provide alternative activities for them. We're going to have golfing at Torrey Pines Country Club today for those come in early. Tomorrow we'll have it at Coronado Country Club. They've got a spa here on location as an example. And then also we're going to have a deep sea fishing excursion. Uh, it does not hurt that I'm doing an event like this in April coming out of a long winter. We've got people coming from all over the United States from Maine, Massachusetts, Orlando, Florida, Dallas, Texas, Minneapolis, Seattle, all coming to the warmth of Southern California. When you choose your venue, I've used venues in, in Vail, Colorado, uh, that you can enjoy skiing opportunities. I've chosen venues in Dallas, Austin, San Antonio, Texas, where you can have more of a rustic feel, kind of a, a ranch type of a setting, wonderful environment for doing that. So choosing the right venue and an attractive venue that people look forward to coming is so important. Now, you can have a great facility, but not have enough people there. And so that's why we get to success principle number two. That is effective invitation process. You want to make sure that your invitation process is not just made up of hard copy or electronic invitations. You want to have 
your event based on friends inviting friends. If this is a repeat event for you, go to people who've been there in the past who have really enjoyed the event and want their friends to come as well too. Utilize your staff. If you've got staff who have relationships with major donors, get them to invite those major donors and come to the event with you. It's a great way for them to be able to be part of the event as well too, coming with you. And then also you want to make sure that if this is a first time event, you want to really utilize as much uh, or as many really of the relationships that you have and have had in the past and utilize those relationships with people. So it's so important that you focus in on that. Then you want a dynamic program. You want a program that people really will enjoy. Having stories of changed lives, videos, live testimonials from individuals who have been impacted and affected by your organization is so critical, so important, and you want to have effective speakers. We've used some great communicators, as I've said in the past. I'm not a big fan of using big name speakers for events, but if you have effective communicators, individuals that understand your mission and vision and communicate that mission and vision effectively, that will give you an effective event as well, and it will also be a solid program we've got music we've got a 11 person band we have got uh, a wonderful stage I will try and take some pictures of our staging and what we've done with that but also too we've got uh, the uh, as, as high tech as you can get from the standpoint of audio and video production and that is so important I mentioned many times the last thing you want to do is work and get a lot of people in a room and just have it be a beautiful program and people can't hear it because of poor audio or video so it's so important that you focus in on that the last item is item number four you want to make sure that you have immediate follow-up you want people to know that when they make a commitment or a gift that they were thanked they were appreciated and it was so important that you got to them quickly because when you get to them quickly they'll respond back with a gift quickly and it also shows that you had real appreciation and real love for what they, uh, they, the investment that they made. If people are going to come for an entire weekend and spend the, the weekend with you, you want to make sure that you make it special for them from start to finish. An event like this will cost you money to put on. There, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of upfront money and money that we've invested in doing this event, but it is so valuable because of the end result, the commitments that will come from an event like this and so make sure that you do your homework use the four principles make sure that you've got a great venue make sure you've got a, the an effective invitation process make sure you've got a dynamic program and lastly immediate follow-up and that will give you the success you want we'd love to have you subscribe to this channel uh, please uh, click the bell and make sure that you subscribe and you'll be notified in the next video. You can also follow me out on Instagram at Dev Effectiveness Strategies. And also, if you've got questions, go to Twitter at DevFStrats and use the hashtag Jim and Java for our broadcast. And so, as we always say, I'm excited to help you increase income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. See you in the next video. Take care.